packed in the back of the Jeep like sardines. Uh, all doing not much actually. We're just, just kind of hanging out. On their way to the racetrack, we just had some breakfast. How you doing up there, Mr. Tim? We're doing awesome. You ready, ready to go, go racing? Ready to go. Cool. Alright. Oh, when I get to the track, I have to fold parachutes. <laughs> Thanks, Austin. You're welcome, man. Hey, you know, just when you're a big fancy driver, man, I ain't folding them for you. It's all you. I okay. can't help it, your dad won't do it. And I'm not gonna tell him he has to do it. But I can tell you. Because I'm bigger than you. Oh, I'm bigger than you. <laughs> I, I know for a fact that I can run faster than you. We've proved that. So. That was fake news. Like I said, it's called Johnny Walker, not Johnny Runner. Okay? I had the handicap that night. Alright, I'd still bait you when you were sober. So. Well, I'm old. So. I don't know what you want from me. Hey! Oh, you're, I got you're a old. patch of gray hair over here now. It's starting to come in. You want some more? My experience. I'll give you so uh, what, you, what are we doing over here, Mr. Austin? First off, I got fleas. I'm dealing with that. Uh, now I'm learning to be the bottom end blower guy. I'm gonna do that and this. Oh boy, a promotion. I work on somebody else's car too, I don't care. Promotion, huh? So I do the trifecta from now on. Nice. I'm also gonna do an oil change to the motor hole in 20 rounds today, so. Oh yeah, so uh, I bought a dirt bike from Blaine. But I kind of blew it up when I was here for race week, so doesn't run. So we got the golf cart or ratchet strap and I'm hanging on for dear life. What could go wrong here? Right. We got this. All right, it's back at the pit. I'm gonna work on that when we get home. I don't know if I'll make any videos on it. I'm probably gonna nearly kill myself a couple of times, but hey, it do be like that sometimes. I'm so surprised that honestly work just getting back that way without me killing myself though. Yeah, I was kind of surprised that that went that smoothly. Yeah, uh, I expected there to be at least one crash, or near crash, but near crash. we were all good, so, oh yeah. Bad. Marbles and Austin and I are gonna do some push-ups. We're, we're getting the entire team into push-ups. So uh, Austin just finished servicing our blower, finally. My first day, bro. Whatever. This is his first rodeo. <laughs> Quite literally, his first rodeo, but uh, it's torqued on, I'm gonna hook up the throttle cable, put the blower bag on, and then Johnny and the belt, and Johnny's gonna come adjust valves, and uh, yeah. All right, Mr. Tyler's adjusting the clutch. We just warmed it up a few minutes ago, and uh, she sounds mean. She wants to attack something. Like, uh, like a Mustang wants to chase down a Camaro. Or a crowd. How's it going, Mr. AJ? We're doing good, well, I was already crowded the nitro. surprised that Austin didn't shut dad off on that one because it had two holes out it looked like to me looked like there was one out on both the left and right side so I'm interested to see what that is and one thing that you've got to be super careful about when you get the heads off with that is uh, double checking all the spark plugs because it's more liable to uh, torture a head or torture spark plug hole than uh, normal what you think about that mr. Terry you like it? So Blaine, we, we 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 made you a crew guy today, huh? I guess. Bottom man, tires. Yeah, you were all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Most cool. people have to start by wiping down the body. Yeah. So we just threw you in quicker than most. Johnny's uh, fixing to adjust some valves here. We'll put some valve covers on and uh, make it make some angry noises.
My boy Justin Ashley is up for the Too Fast Too Tasty Challenge Finals. Let's see him win. Yes, that's my boy. For Justin Ashley. Justin yes. Again. <laughs> Again. Justin's been doing real well this year. Good job, buddy. Also, look who's styling in a crew shirt. And then we've got well, Gippy. <laughs> but, but like if you watch if you watch uh, Brent's videos, I'm just saying this again. But we are at the prettiest track in America. It's Saturday night. All of our people are here, and we're here playing race cars, doing the coolest stuff on the planet. So uh, that's pretty awesome, in my book. Real, real awesome. How you doing, girls? Hi, Miss backup girl Ashley and. Haley. Girl. What? I said not backup. Not backup girl Haley, yeah. Leave it cam, Tyler. The, oh, no. It's real pretty, isn't it? Does it look like an old Windows 98 like screensaver? Yeah, I love it. It, it does. does. Y'all are ancient. Dude, check this out. This is so cool. Mountains, sell out crowd. The crowd came through here at Bandermere and uh just this is just cool. Making me happy. Happy, happy, happy. Like uh Side from uh, Duck Happy, happy, happy. run of the weekend for you and you told me after Q3 that that's exactly what you wanted to do was keep improving but I know you got out of your car and you looked at your race car on the side of it and as a small team Terry how hard are these moments to see you know this this is a tough one but we're blessed to be here God lets me come out and race these cars so this is cool we'll fix all this stuff thank you to all the sponsors my guys that make all this happen um, Tim from TND Express Pat from Priority Systems, Fisher Body Shops. Half the time I forget all the names, but thank you so much for all we do, and we're just blessed to do this. We'll fix it. Terry, we love observing you. We love your passion. I know one of the Safety Safari members just came over and asked you, are you okay? What did you say to him? Uh, I'm not dead yet, so we'll keep going. <laughs> so that's not good. Um, yeah. Probably not going to show much of this on TV. We just, uh, the, the door is off of the body. We are going to the so it at least ran a 419 at 282. <laughs> uh, 60 foot was slower than Denchum's. 238, 330, 336, eighth mile, and a heartbreaking car that's going back into the pit. So Dad usually doesn't like blowing up stuff on video, but he's willing to make an exception for this because it shows the real hard part of drag racing. This is what happened to our body. The sun is dipped. And, I mean, it is what it is. Um, we've got another body in the trailer. We've been preparing for this. This is part of it. Not a fun part of it, but when you're running harder and trying to do better, this is uh, how it goes. Also, that's not supposed to do that. That's not ideal. And that's not ideal. You can't even get the valve cover off. But it's all good. We're going to fix it. Watch your hand. We're going to fix it. Okay, if I'm looking... Valve cover removal lessons is on the left. Here, Johnny. It gets worse as you take it apart more. But it do be like that sometimes. Like Tyler just said a minute ago, we've got so much to be thankful for right now. Dad's fine. We have all the parts to fix this stuff. And we're still out here doing the coolest stuff in the world. So. And we're here. Cool. <laughs> as much as it sucks, we still have a lot to be grateful for. There's an issue or two with this block, but uh, 
luckily, luckily I know a guy that has an engine block repair company. Um, so he'll get that all fixed up. Right, Mr. Terry? You, you know somebody who owns an engine block repair company and they'll get that all fixed up? Get it all fixed up, buddy, but we don't have time to work on our own stuff. We got too many customers. Yeah, the struggle is real. But we got a new motor in. Blaine is fitting in very well here, and he's putting new uh, the new head studs into this um, fresh motor. And then uh, we got a header that's got a new head. We've got Miss Ryan over here regapping spark plugs because no no particular reason. I mean, they didn't end up on the floor or anything. Yes. Why'd you have to spray me with water, huh? Because it was entertaining. So what you doing over here, Miss Haley? I'm reinstalling the first gear. What does that mean? That's about all I learned. <laughs> <laughs> so, first panels are on the intake. There's one in the front, and we need to replace that one too. And then there's these two on the side. So when you have things like what happened today, these blow out so you don't destroy the intake. So uh, Miss Haley's over here cleaning the, uh, the screws and putting it back together and being productive. Good job. Dude, we got everyone being productive, even Caden. Nah. All right, Tyler nearly has the clutch all the way in. We've got this head ready. We're waiting on Marbles' head. Uh, Dad has built the spare blower, and it's ready to go because... Haley built the manifold. Haley built the manifold. I held the flashlight. <laughs> you get yelled at for doing it wrong? Yeah. Nice. But... Uh, we had to put the new, the other hat on because uh, we got we got a little bit of an alley running through this guy. But I think this is fixable, right, Dad? You can fix this. It's fixable, but we can't fix it here. Is that something you can send to Tim to get fixed? It'll go to Tim, or I don't know where it'll go. It'll go somewhere. It'll depend on what we can afford when we get home. Cool. Cool. So we got a head back on. Marbles is fixing to put his head back on. It is 11.43, we've still got probably an hour, hour and a half here, and then an hour drive to the hotel and an hour drive back, and we have to be here at 7. So, per Tyler, basically we've got time to go to the hotel, pack our stuff, and then come back. How, how, how are you feeling about that, Mr. Blaine? I'm feeling like... I don't know. We're gonna need some more Red Bulls. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> So uh, NHRA posted the video from today, all of the videos like on their YouTube. It, it isn't pretty, but uh, that stuff happens. I mean, you look up, you watch this, right? But you look up, we have a race car that's nearly completely back together. We have another body sitting there ready to go and we're gonna be ready for round one tomorrow. And it's only 1248. Like, Denver's a really rough track to run at. It's hard to get the air right, get the fuel right, get everything working happy, get all the holes to not drop, and uh, stuff happens. But uh, you never give up, you keep going, and you rebuild. And it, it was really cool. Everybody jumped in to help, Blaine and Caden, and Haley and Ashley helped. They helped Dad get the blower and stuff, and the intake already, so big, big team thing, which is uh, cool to see, and it's awesome to be part of. So, yeah. All right, Mr. Terry, what do you have to say about today? It was a tough day in Denver, buddy. Yeah. At the end of the day, we're blessed to be here, and we get to race another day. Yeah? Cool. As soon as you finish this guy. Working on it. <laughs> so, while we wait on Dad to finish the blower, hey, uh... I came up here to the starting line for a few minutes um, to kind of just have a minute to myself and pray and uh, I don't always know what to say but what I do know is I wake up every morning and I thank God for the life that I have the opportunity to live and all the cool things I get to do. I get to travel all over the country, see the world, see my friends and meet all kinds of different people and do all kinds of different cool things. and. Uh, there are bad days. It happens. It, it happens to everyone. But uh, it's what you do after those bad days. It's how you rebuild. It's how you get up. And it's how you stand up and prove yourself that determines who you are as a person, who you are as a team or an organization or 
however you want to put it. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen here on the mountain tomorrow. We could go out first round. We could win. You just you just never know. But um, it's uh, we do the coolest stuff on the planet, and I'm so grateful. And um, it's all through God that we're able to do it, and Jesus repenting, or Jesus taking the cross for all of our sins, and everything that we get to do is because of that, and it's just, just so cool. But on that note, I'm gonna go back to the pit and uh, put a blower on the car so that we can go to the hotel and get about two hours of sleep. Um, <laughs> today is the uh, never give up episode, so dude, whatever you do, chase your dreams even on the bad days it's still it's still worth it and never ever ever give up dude hello this is future editor mikaelin here um i'm combining these two videos because sunday i didn't have as much stuff and i think it just works out to be a better video with the two videos from saturday and sunday being together so uh stick around for the rest of the video good morning mr austin how how are you after about three minutes of sleep it's actually four and <laughs> half minutes of sleep and that's you know like a great afternoon nap i'm trying to figure out what this like orca bird is over here it's like a new episode of national geographic out here <laughs> uh, that's about it oh uh, i don't know if he's paying for the chicken so last night johnny was thinking about it and when he was adjusting the valves something didn't feel right to him and so when we got here this morning, he said, pull the head off on my side because something didn't feel right. And uh, he was right. The uh, One of the um, valves was bent in the head. So Marbles is in there replacing it. And uh, we're going to put it back together. But good job on Johnny for noticing and thinking about it. They're just breaking down the pre-race ceremonies and uh, in 12 minutes we're going to light them up for the final race day here at Bandamere Speedway. And this is such a great track, such a great family runs it and it's such a great atmosphere that uh, it's really sad that we're losing it so this is going to be a really uh, bittersweet day. But we've had some good memories here. Let's do this. to 4.02. Alright, well, we gave it our all. We gave it our all. With Terry Haddock's son, McHalen. Now, we're, we keep talking about what happened last night. What kind of work went into getting the car ready for round one? You know, last night was unfortunate, but it's a part of racing, and we're still blessed to be out here doing it. And we were up till 2.30 in the morning, and I just want to say, all these guys, everybody out here helping us, supporting us, doing this, it's so cool having the family that's out here doing it, and I'm so blessed to be able to do this. I just wanted to say thanks. Everybody did a great Ready? job so yesterday. Went to shit, and y'all pulled it out. And I want to say thank you. Y'all worked hard. It's cool seeing my whole family involved. Good job. Come on! I'd like to say so myself too. This 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 team's been evolving, coming together. It's a hell of a thing to see that everybody just gel together for the common goal, and we're going places. I really feel it. Woo! Oh yeah. And Ron Caps had to work for it. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Just ran up to uh, watch Mr. Blaine uh, take a hit in the old C10. I did miss his burnout though, which is unfortunate. Eleven oh five at sixty eight. Dude, this is sad. The uh, last race day has officially been completed at Vandermeer Speedway here in Colorado, which is 
heartbreakingly sad. There's been a lot, a lot of good memories here. And uh, I'm so thankful for all the time that uh, we've spent here and I've got everything we've gotten to do here. It's, uh, it's really cool. I am exhausted. The whole uh, two hours of sleep thing was not ideal, dude. So we're gonna go back to the hotel and kind of hang out and sleep pretty much. And uh, next race is Topeka. We're skipping the rest of the swing. We uh, want no part of it, especially after what happened on Saturday. But uh, yeah, we we had a heck of a thing coming back this weekend. Like you look at it, yesterday was probably a fifty thousand dollar day in that one run like you look at it a brand new body is fifty thousand dollars that one was used and they go for anywhere from 15 to 25 set of heads is junk that's another 10 grand uh you've got a blow the blower case popped out and is junk so you're gonna need a new case that's eight grand um crank and the rack that we lost and everything uh just everything part of that costs money and i'm trying to be transparent and showing what all that actually entails because there's a lot of money that goes into this and it's um it's hard to keep it going sometimes but dad is very good at that and he's uh he's done it for years and years so we'll be back we'll be back better than ever we gonna have to mount a new body so I might film that because that might be an interesting process that you can't really uh, see anywhere else. On that note, for the last time here at uh, Vandermeer Speedway for the 2023 Mile High Nationals, never give up. Thank you for all the memories, Vandermeer.